hey guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here you're welcome to sew with mediva and if you're a returning subscriber or a returning viewer thank you for sticking to my channel so in today's video i'll be showing you guys how i made this simple circle wrap dress so if this is something you are interested in make sure you watch this video to the end so that you don't miss out on any detail and if you find this video useful if you find it helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up leave a comment subscribe to my channel and also share with your loved ones so i'll be making use of these two different african print fabric they are about three yards each but i didn't use up to that i used about four yards in total for the dress so i'm going to be mixing these two african prints to make my dress you're also going to need your lining this is optional you can do without a lining you need your chalk your tape pro and your scissors so let's go ahead to fold the fabric for so like i said i'll be making use of these two african print fabric so the back is going to be this um, particular one only this one while the front is going to be a mixture of these two fabrics i hope you guys understand and this dress is divided into two the upper part which is from the shoulder to the half length while the lower part is from the half length down to the full length of the dress so the full length of this dress is 40 inches so from my shoulder to my half length is 16 inches while the lower part is going to be 24 inches so let's go ahead to fold the fabric so we're going to start with the upper part of this dress and i'm going to have to cut out the fabric it's in a fold of two so this particular fabric is for the back panel so to, so to get the amount of fabric to fold go ahead to divide your round bust measurement by four so mine is 10.5 inches and i added about two inches to it for seam allowance making 12.5 inches on fold so this is for the back and then the length of this upper part like i said earlier is from my shoulder to my half length so let me go ahead to just mark a starting line so this line is going to serve as the shoulder line and then from my shoulder to my half length is 16 inches i added half an inch extra for joining to the lower part of the dress so remember that the front is going to be a mixture of two different fabrics let me bring it for you guys to see and i've gone ahead to cut them out so you can see that i have my two different fabrics cut out already and i made sure the wrong sides are facing each other so because it's a wrap um dress the front panel is six inches wider than the back so let me go ahead to place the back panel on it for you guys to see so towards the center front of the dress you can see that i have about 6.5 inches extra this is going to be for the wrap effect so i have 6.5 inches towards the center front of my dress and i'm cutting both the front and the back panels together so to do that i'm going to just um, fold in this 6.5 inches now inside just, just what i'm going to do so fold it in this way so that you can cut both the front and the back panels together this is what we have so the next thing to do now is to mark the vertical measurements so remember that this first line is the shoulder line so i'm going to take from my shoulder to my bust point so mine is 11 inches so go ahead to mark your own appropriate measurements so i'll mark 11 inches and extend the line this way and then from my shoulder to my half length is 16 inches and then i'll extend the line also so after extending this is what you should have so this is the shoulder line the bust line and the half length so the next thing we want to do is to come over to this shoulder line towards the closed angle of your fabric and mark your shoulder to shoulder measurements divided by two mine is eight inches and from that eight inches i just marked i'm going to come down by my round armhole measurements divided by two which is nine inches so i'll connect the two points together this way and then i'll further extend the line this way so after doing that this is what we have the next thing is to place the neckline so the neckline i worked with is 3.5 inches and the depth of the back panel is 1.5 inches so i'll go ahead to connect the points together this way and then for the back neckline i'm making use of a v-shaped neckline so i'm going to come down by seven inches so you can make use of six inches five inches eight inches depending on how deep or open you want your top to be so i'm going to connect it down to the neck um wideness this way so this is what you should have after doing yours so the next thing to do is to take the shoulder slope so come over to this line and come down by one inch and then connect it to meet the neck width this way 
Then after that, I'll come over to the chest line and place my round bust measurements divided by 4, which is 10.5 inches and half of an inch for ease, making 11 inches. I'll mark 11 inches there. And then I'll take the midpoint of this line, which is 4 inches for me, and come in by 0 0.5 inches for the front armhole. So I'll go ahead to connect the points together now this way to form my armhole curve. So this is for the front armhole. I'm going to just go ahead to form the back armhole now. So I'll just form the back armhole without that half of an inch inside. So this is going to be the back and this is going to be the front. So the next thing to do is to place the round body measurements. So on the bust line, place your round bust measurements divided by 4. Mine is 10.5 inches. Add half of an inch for ease and 1.5 inches for seam allowance. So I have a total of 12.5 inches. And on the uh, waistline, I'm going to place my round waist measurements divided by 4, which is 9.5 inches. I'll add 1 inch for that and 1.5 inches for seam allowance, making 12 inches. So I'll connect the points together this way, all the way down to the armhole curve. So this is what we have. The next thing is to place the dart measurement. So to get the dart line, go ahead to divide your nipple to nipple measurements divided by 2 mine is four inches and i'll add half of an inch to it for joining so i'll mark that same 4.5 inches on the bust line and then i'll come down by one inch so i'll connect these two points together this way and then i'll take 0 0.5 inches on both sides of the line half of an inch and then connect it all the way up so this is basically all for the upper part let's go ahead to cut it so before I cut it out, I'm going to add half an inch to the shoulder area because of the shoulder joining. So let's go ahead to cut it out now. So when you are making yours, make sure the front panels are on top while the back panel is at the lower part because of the armhole curve. I made that mistake while I was drafting mine. So before I cut out the neckline, I'm going to open up the 6 inches extra, 6.5 inches extra that I added. And then now I'll cut out the back neckline. So I'm supposed to draft this pattern on the front um, panels, not on the back. So this is what we have. So the next thing to do now is to modify the neckline for the front panel. So I'll come over to this center front area and come up by 2.5 inches. So from that 2.5 inches, I'm going to connect it now down to meet the neckline this way. So I'll just raise the um, back panel up and just connect it all the way up this way. So after doing that, this is what we have. The next thing we want to do is to cut out this neckline. So this is why I asked you to draft it on the front panel, not on the back. So I'll go ahead to cut out the neckline and I'll also trim out this armhole. So before I separate them from each other, I'll go ahead to notch the dart. So we're going to be taking in the dart for both the front and the back panels. So I'll go ahead to just make small cuts on that area so that I'll know where the dart is going to be. And then I'll cut out um, 0 0.5 inches from this armhole curve. So I'll just go ahead to trim it out. So after doing that, this is what we have. So by the time you open it up, this is the back panel. So when you open up the front panel, you can see what it looks like. So we have the two different fabrics on each side. So this is what we have. So I'm going to use this to cut out my lining pieces. And then I'll set them aside while we work on the lower part of the dress. So let's go ahead to do that. So moving over to the lower part, we're going to start with the back panel and this is the fabric we're going to use. So we're going to be cutting a half circle, a 180 degree circle and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So you're going to open up your fabric and then fold it in the form of a cone this way. You're going to form like a triangle. So take one edge of your fabric and form a cone this way. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. So let me take this now to a bigger, a wider space so that you guys can understand better. So this is what I was trying to explain. Go ahead to just form a triangle this way to so cut your 180 degree flare. So this is what you should have after folding. So let's go back to the table. 
so back to the table this is what we have this is the closed angle and that is the opened angle so the next thing to do is to place your round waist measurements divided by four so you can see that the fabric is in the shape of a triangle so make sure whatever you mark also gives that triangular shape so go ahead to place your tape through this way and mark your round waist measurements divided by four which is 9.5 inches for me and then i'll add one and a half inches for seam allowance making 11.5 inches so this is the point where i have that wideness so to check if you are on the right track make sure what you have on both sides of the triangle is equal so you can see that mine is equal so i'm going to measure what i have there which is about 14 inches from the apex so i'm going to add that 14 inches now to the full length of the lower part so remember the lower part is 24 inches plus 14 inches making 38 inches and i'm going to add one and a half inches for seam allowance so what i'm going to do now so i'm going to have a total of 39.5 inches so from that apex of my fabric i'm going to mark 39.5 inches all the way around it so place your tape row at the apex of your fabric and take the full length of the lower part so mine is 39.5 inches so i'm going to just go ahead to start marking it all the way around it so make sure that while you are marking your tape row is at the apex of the fabric so go ahead to mark it all the way around just as you can see me doing so after you are done marking you will notice that you have the shape of a cone and the two sides must be equal so after marking this is what it looks like so the next thing we're going to do now is to cut out the pattern so let's go ahead to cut it out so you notice that i did not add any joining allowance to this upper part so you're going to understand that later on as the video progresses so this is what we have after cutting out let's go ahead to cut out the front so remember we're going to be using two different fabrics for the front panel so i'm not going to fold my fabric i'm going to leave it open that way and then i'll place the back panel so most as the back panel is already in a fold of two so i want to use it to cut one side of the wrap and i'll use it to cut the other side as well so go ahead to place the back panel on it this way making sure that the waist line area is straight so you should have it looking this way so make sure that that upper part is straight just as you can see me doing in the video make sure it's straight this way and then you're going to take that same 6.5 inches that you took in at the upper part so i'm going to mark 6.5 inches now at this center front because of the overlapping effect so i'm going to just go ahead and mark 6.5 inches all the way up so after marking i will connect all the points together this way so this is basically all for the front part of this dress so i'll go ahead now to cut it out so after cutting out i'm going to use this um this one side of the front to cut out the other side of the front so i have already added the half an inch joining allowance the one i will use to join to the upper part i already added it to the lower part of this dress so this is what we have when you open up so i'm going to use this um so you can see that the front panel is 6.5 inches bigger than the back because of the wrap effect so i'm going to set the back panel aside now and i'll use the front panel to cut out the other fabric so after i cut out the second fabric for the wrap this is what it looks like so we have the two pieces of the back panel here already but this is what we were trying to achieve so i'm going to just show you guys what the back panel looks like so this is the back panel so we're not going to be lining this lower part of the dress it's only the upper part will line so i'll set this aside while we we'll work on the upper parts so i'm gonna have to cut out the lining for the upper part of this dress and this is the back panel so i'm going to place the lining on it right sides facing each other and then i'll go ahead to stitch down the neckline using half of an inch i'll close up the sides as well i'll leave the armhole and the shoulder areas opened when i'm done with that i'll turn it over to the wrong side and then i'll take in the darts i'll take in the darts on both sides so for the front part of the dress i've also cut out the lining pieces and i also went ahead to cut out the belt i'll be using so the fabric i used for the belt let me show you guys what it looks like so this is what the belt looks like so i cut out a fabric that is five inches wide and 40 inches long 
and then i folded the fabric into two and stitch it all the way down using half an inch and then i turn it over to the right side so this is what we have so i have one side opened and i have the other side closed so this is what we have and i went ahead to iron it out so i'm going to place the open part of the um fabric strap this way so you can see that we have half an inch left for the joining allowance join to the lower part so that was why i took 2.5 inches that time so i'll use my pin to hold it down this way and then i'll place my lining on it i'll place my lining on it this way so after placing the lining on it i'll go ahead to close up this neckline area all the way down I'll close it up this way all the way down and then I'll also close up the sides but make sure the belt is inside before you close up the side I'll close the side using half of an inch when I'm done with that I will do the same thing for the other side I will fix in my belt first you can even stitch it down if you want or you can use your pins to hold it down and then I'll place my lining on it close up this neckline area using half of an inch all the way down and then i will close up the side so when i'm done turning over i will also take in my darts just like i did with the front with the back i'll take in my darts and then i will show you guys what it looks like so after i turned over with the lining this is what it looks like this is the back part and you can see the dart intake i've taken in the dart for the back and these are the front panels so you can see how neat it looks so this is what the wrong side looks like and i've also taken in the dart so this is what we have this is the other one so they're going to overlap on each other this way when we are done so the next thing to do is to join the upper parts and the lower parts together so i'm going to start with the back panels i'm going to place them this way right sides facing each other and then i'll go ahead to stitch it together using half an inch I'll join them all the way down so when I'm done with that I'll do the same thing for the front panels I'll place them right sides facing each other so you're going to notice a space at the center front just leave it that way and then stitch it down all the way down do the same thing for the other side and then when I'm done I'll show you guys what it looks like so after joining the upper and the lower parts together this is what it looks like so so you can see that i have about one inch excess towards the center front this is because we didn't add any joining allowance to the waist so it made it bigger so i hope you guys understand so i'm going to fold in that part now to finish up the edge of my um of the wrap where the part that is going to be outside and inside so i'll fold it in and stitch it all the way down i'll do the same thing for the other side i'll fold it in this way and stitch it down so when i'm done doing that i'll show you guys the next thing to do so after i folded in the edges this is what it looks like so you can see how it aligns now with the upper part of the dress and this is what the other one looks like so the next thing we want to do is to join the front and the back panels together so i'm going to place them on each other right sides facing each other so i'm going to place them this way and i'm going to start joining the shoulders so i'm going to place them fabric to fabric and lining to lining to get that neat inseam finishing and then i'll stitch it all the way down using half of an inch i'll do the same thing for the other side and i will show you guys so after joining the shoulder areas this is what it looks like on the inside you can see how neat it looks so before we join the sides together we're going to cut out the sleeve and insert it first so let's go ahead to do that so i'll be using the two different fabrics for the sleeve and i have them in a fold of two so to get the amount of fabric to fold you're going to divide your round armhole measurements by two so mine is nine inches and i added one inch for seam allowance making 10 inches and the length of my sleeve is 10 inches but i'm going to fold in one inch at the base to make a total of nine inches at the end of the day so the first thing you want to do is to mark your cap's height so mine is four inches i'll go ahead to mark it out this way so to get your cap's height divide your round bust by 12 and add half of an inch and on this cap's height line i'm going to mark my round armhole measurement divided by two plus one inch for seam allowance making 10 inches and then connect the points this way so i'll go ahead to just form a curve this way so this is just a basic sleeve 
and then on the bicep where the sleeve is going to stop the round measurement there is 14 inches divided by 2 is 7 inches and 1 inch for seam allowance making 8 inches so go ahead to connect the points together this way this is basically all for the sleeve and let's cut it out so after cutting out this is what it looks like so i'm going to notch the center point of the sleeve the highest point this way so when you open up you will have something that looks like this so let's attach the sleeve to the dress so to insert the sleeve go ahead to open up the armhole area this way and then take the part that you notched the part of the sleeve that you notched and merge it to the part of the shoulder joining and use your pin to just hold it down so merge it together this way so start stitching from that point and then stitch the sleeve into the armhole this way stitch it all the way down when you are done come over to the other side and also stitch it all the way down so i'll insert the other sleeve and then i'll show you guys what it looks like so after inserting the sleeve this is what it looks like so i also went ahead to finish the edge so the next thing we want to do is to join the sides together so i'm going to flip it to the wrong side this way and then depending on the side where you want um the hole to be depending on the fabric you want to be on top so you're going to decide where you want the hole to be starting from the sleeve i'm going to use my one inch seam allowance and stitch it all the way down closed stitch it all the way down closed and then on, on the other side as well i'm going to stitch it down so i'm going to make a um gap of about two inches i won't stitch that part i'll leave that part open so i can pass my belt through so I'll stitch one inch all the way down and then I'll stitch it from the other side all the way down. So when I'm done, I'll show you guys the finished product of the dress. So after joining the sides together, this is what it looks like. So you can see how neat the inside looks. So I also created the hole where I'll be passing my belt through and this is what we have. So when I wear my dress, I'm going to pass this belt since this fabric is going to be on the inside. I'll pass this belt into that hole this way and then i'll tie it all around my waist and i also finished up the base of the dress i folded it in and stitched it all the way around it so this is how we end this video for today i hope you found it useful and i hope you learned something new if you found this video useful don't forget to give it a thumbs up leave a comment subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye